Hello, Super Dungeon Boy in the house. All right, let's get off to these mods and random things I like or dislike or whatever. Random ten things. So this catnip mod thing, I don't know what to make of it. I just I don't like it. Some people would. I mean, it has a slowing effect. It has a I don't know. I mean, you're looking at it. This is this is what it does. One of the mods that I found on the PlayStation 4. By the way, this is all on PlayStation 4, for those who need to know. Um, by the way, Happy Halloween. It's recording on ha our Halloween, so... Been drinking. Uh, not too much, but just a little bit. So, keep that in mind. Burr. Wow, that was free. For you! Anyways. <laughs> Moving on. Wow, I'm a pig. So, to elaborate more with this uh, dry catnip thing... Um, I don't know, just look at these stats, what it does. It's just, I'm not into it. I just don't like it. Not for me. And by the way, it's only Khajiits only. Moving on. This one right here is just, if you ever wanted to build up that sneak, and you don't want to be like a super uber cheater like I am, but you want to, you want to exploit something that's not going to break the game or something, well, here you go. I got something for you. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at our, our sneak. I have, like, nothing there. Okay, level 15, not even filled up in the bar. So we're going to sneak around a bit. This is over in Helgen. <coughs> Excuse me. Some fun. This is over in Helgen, and uh, we're escaping and stuff. It doesn't matter what alliance you're with. That's besides the point. Uh, this is just on the way out um, from the... Oh, what is this? The last part of the dungeon that goes into the cave, and then the cave goes to, well, the outside. Spoiler, kind of, but you'd have figured it out. It's, I mean, don't go too far like I did. Now, the one dude's up there, and, and it doesn't matter which guy you pick, you'll, this will be the same area with the same thing. And you just back yourself into the corner. You can even go to that corner a little bit to the left behind that cage if you really want to be in the corner. Um, and your stuff levels up, man. You can do that old-fashioned uh, rubber band trick they did you know, back in the day, for those who don't know. Take a rubber band around the left joystick on the PlayStation or Xbox and wrap that sucker around the controller and then it'll meet on the left side of where you're holding your hand there, that little part, and then you'll just kind of wrap that up. Just figure it out. Watch a video on it. You can even put a book or something on top and make it push forward. Just do what you can. It'll work. Come back in an hour. You'll love it. All right. This one right here is just a very basic mod. But the lampposts that are just scattered through Skyrim, this is not native to it. I'm uh, sorry, this is not uh, vanilla. It just it adds this extra awe to the factor. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Speaking of mods, um, a lot of people want to say that PlayStation, you know, they start crying and saying like, "Ah, oh, we don't have nothing." Oh my god! <laughs> shut up! Just shut up, you screamer! Like just. <laughs> I mean, dude, I have plenty of stuff. I got mods that ha assure that I have more money at with merchants. Like, they have, like, 10,000 to trade with every day. Just come back two days from then. They have another 10,000. So they have money everywhere I go. Um, there's stuff where I get more spells. There's stuff where, like, the roads. Like, this one, that one right there. It was, uh, the... God, I can't think right now. Just, everything's better, man. Like, little small stuff. More spells, more this, more that. You're not gonna find Thomas the Tank Engine in the mods on PlayStation. So, that kind of stuff, sorry. And by the way, to my friend Grim Cyrus out there, he knows who he is. No, they don't have Samurai Armor skin mods yet. I wish to God they did. Maybe in the future. Crossing fingers. With an orc with Samurai Armor would be awesome. Moving on. Um, number six, this one right here is a mod that's kind of a super, super, super cheat. It gives you a thousand of everything and 50,000 gold. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why, it just does. Um, this one I personally like. I know it's kind of super cheaty, and it's like, oh, wow, you can easily get your, uh, look at that, ring of holding capacity. That's another one. Um, there's a mod for that that just has the ring of infinite hold, which is what I call it. Um, or a holding bag or whatever. And then this mod has that plus some. And then this thing, that smithing thing, you probably didn't see it. Excuse me. The smithing thing plus the, uh, 
alchemy. You can, uh, I think that's another mod too. Um, it goes up by what, 1,000 times or something? So once you have all these items and you have all this crafting stuff, this just takes the busy work out of it, folks. Unless you really enjoy crafting and you want to get the most original Skyrim experience without going crazy, you know, cheating like I do, then you may not want this one. But for those that want to cut 12 hours out of, out of the busy work, and, you know, you maybe have school or kids or a job, um, you want this mod. This just cuts that out and, yeah, you'll like it. I recommend it. Personally, I recommend it. Anyways, moving on. Number seven. This one even isn't even really a, uh, so much a tip, just kind of a suggestion. Just find your own fun in the game. Just, you know, like something small like looting a chest, looking into the sky, going off the off-beaten path. Just have fun. Number eight. Oh, probably my favorite. Bows in this game are legendary. <laughs> Love them. Number nine. Healing yo ass. No. <laughs> uh, number nine is just... You gotta keep up with the heals, man. Um, even at le level 81 and I was cheating like crazy, I still got my ass handed to me because I didn't put in the proper uh, skills that I wanted. Um, I probably... And I didn't add this to the top ten, but uh, you should have some kind of mod... Mod? Excuse me. Build in mind of what you want. Warrior, uh, hybrid magic, whatever. Just keep that in mind and stay stay with your build. Uh, moving on, I forgot to add a part just a moment ago. So when I was up over by the steps when you saw the uh, blizzard thing, run into the blizzard. It's infinite uh, damage, so it'll like damage you all the time. And start healing yourself constantly. This will up your restoration, because restoration is very important in the game, which I forgot to mention. And make sure to get many perks in restoration, what you're comfortable with, with your character. And this right here, I'm just stabbing him in the back, getting my sneak up, getting my melee up, and I'm healing him, so I'm doing three things at once. What a cool way to level up without super cheating. Um, yeah. Look at look all that up if you don't know. You know, there these are old, old tips, folks. I just I'm trying to re enlighten the younger folks that are getting into the game, or maybe you came back to this game and you just didn't know about it. Bonus tip. Why should I never, ever F with a graybeard? Well, I had to learn the hard way. Now, I already done... <laughs> I messed with the graybeards in the, the, you know, on Xbox 360 back in the day. And uh, I just wanted to do it again. I just wanted to see if they still had their immortality. Yeah, they got their immortality. <laughs> and I got my uh, ass handed to me on a platter. Um, this is not even a fair fight. Like, he's going to wreck me with just melee. And that. That. What the f*** is that? He just does that over and over and over. <laughs> Twelve hours later. There I am. Just chilling. No, literally. <laughs> Alright, moving on. But, uh, I, I, I spared you. This goes on for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or something. Because I was just so keen on wanting to get out of there and eventually I just said, you know what, enough is enough. I need to end this adventure in this video epically! And in the hero's mind, he wondered to himself, was this worth $60? Ah! I'll let you be the judge of that. These are just some random uh, b bonus uh, screenshots I took. And a um, closing thought, I do think that this is the ultimate Skyrim experience if you never played it. If you played it before, there is enough to come back to it, but for $60, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to let you be the judge of that. There's plenty of things to choose. There's a lot more than that, by the way. I don't know. You be the judge. I think, yes.